Jesus says, I bring you uh, old man. That's what he said. 1914. Uh, amen. Come mm -hmm. to fulfill. You didn't come to condemn the law. And I know, and you got to know how to address these people because they will come, your opposers, they uh, will call you a legalist. That's what they call it on Russell. They won't say it out loud, but they call me a legalist. Hmm. That we are under grace. It's grace for grace. Abraham had grace because he was a sinner. But by grace are ye saved through faith, not of yourself. At least we should boast, it is the gift of God. Amen. Not of works. Lest we should boast. Yeah. The law is holy. Seventh chapter of yeah. Romans 12 and 14 verse. The law is holy. The law is spiritual. But what's wrong then? Why can't I keep the law of myself? Because I'm so under sin. Is that right, Deacon? That's right, Pastor? I'm so under sin. Nothing wrong with the Ten Commandments. I got them hung up in my bathroom. Amen. Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not. Thou shalt not. Thou shalt not. Read the 20th chapter of Exodus that will tell you. Thou shalt not. That's it. And just because Jesus came, God, Jesus said, I didn't come to condemn the law, but I come to fulfill it. Because you cannot live the law. The law was given because of transgression. And that's a found in, amen, Romans 4. Yeah. And also in Galatians 3. Search the scriptures for in them you think you have eternal life. And they are those of testifying you. Giving you the, so this church could be a role model church. That's my message tonight. A menu ways, like the theme is, so that this church would be a more a role model. They may call you a legalist. So let them call you a legalist. Too fundamental. But tell them God don't change. Amen. He hates sin. He hates sin. All of yes. it. All Amen. of it. Amen. Mind your, your mama. Yeah. And your daddy. Your granddaddy. <laughs> your papa. Yeah, you hear me? <laughs> your little baby. Just tell them God hates sin when she put her finger on the cake when you, she, you told her don't touch it. Tell her God hates sin. Sin, baby, baby. Well, I don't know, Mom, I just wanted to taste it. Well, you taste and see that the law is good. <laughs> Amen. Do I have a witness? Amen. You teach this after me a whole taste. Okay. And see. And see. And see. That the Lord is good. That the Lord is good. Blessed. Blessed. Is the man. Is the man. The woman. Woman. The boy. The boy. The girl. The girl. That trusted in thee. That trusted in thee. Yeah, that's found in Psalm yes. 34 and 8. So you won't be late. Yes. All right. 19 and 4. 19 and 4. 14. No, excuse me. 14. 19. Thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark. Yeah, that's right. See, that's it. And this is what you got to know. The word of God doesn't change. You shall not remove. If you want to mend your way, you can't remove. Bring in another gospel because you don't like this. You're in the 21st century. You got right. a PhD. You got a master's degree. You got a bachelor's degree. God don't care what kind of degree because hell is hotter than all the degrees. <laughs> yeah, Amen. To, yeah, so don't brag about your degree. Amen. You got to believe. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. It's about faith. Yes. The law is a schoolmaster, but since we don't need the schoolmaster, Amen. Because we can't obey thou shalt not. Because if you offend in one point, you're guilty and filthy of it all. That's how serious the law is. Yes, it is. Amen. Moses gave us the law. Deacon know that. Deacon Oaken know that. Moses gave us the law. But grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Finally, is that right, Deacon? That's right. And that's why you come to Sunday school. Yeah. All leadership. We come to Sunday school once in a while. See how you're doing. Elder Bishop, when I was in Washington, I came down 63. He used to come to the Sunday school and during the graduation. Before the Is that right, Digging Old Kid? You yeah. know, at Sunday, Elder Bishop would come, give out the little diploma. See if you really learn. Then he'd check you out. Say, you learning? You learning, yeah. son? he say a little humor thing that can encourage yeah. Keep coming to Sunday school, son. Keep coming to Sunday school, little girl, with your pretty little hair. Jesus loved the little children. Suffered the little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for it suffered the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Little sister, maybe Sister Smith. 
Yes. Thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark, which, which they have old. Time have set in thine inheritance, yes. which thou shalt inherit in the land that the Lord thy God All giveth right. thee. Well, to one more on that, and mm -hmm. moving on to 27. Turn to Leviticus, I believe it is, uh, or Deuteronomy 27 and 17. Amen. This, these scriptures talk about the landmark. That's why a uh, pastor is always drilling in you about the old <clears throat> landmark. Yes. Amen. These curses that came upon the land because they had no faith. We'll read that, that faith was always there. But God has to have a law because they didn't want to walk by faith. The just shall live was by faith. Abraham walked by faith before the law came into existence. The law didn't come in until, amen, the children of Israel was in the wilderness around Mount Sinai. Right, because they didn't want to walk by faith. Mm. The same way in the church, we have to bring the law. You're either under the law or you're going to be under grace. And we got to have a law Amen. for murders. I think First Timothy tells you that about the, what the law is for. For the lawless. The disobedient to parents and disobedient, amen, to the statutes of the law of righteousness. That's why you go downtown, you go to judge. You got to go to judge. If you don't want judgment in the house of God, just wait, you're going downtown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to put you in jail. Bad boy, bad boy, what they're going to do for you? What they're going to do for you? Bad girl, bad girl, what they're going to do when they come for you? Yeah. Yeah. You better thank God that judgment must begin at the house of God. Mm -hmm. 27. 17? Yeah, 27, Curse, 17. Cursed be he that removed his neighbor's landmark, Yes, read. And all the people shall say amen. Yeah, amen. A lot of people say, oh, it's all right, Ellen Russell, it's all right. Oh, don't try to stir nothing. Call sin out yes. like it is. You hear what I'm saying? You got to do it in love. Yes. The gospel is a love message. That's right. Uh, when you love the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, then you're able to love your neighbor as yourself. And brothers right. and sisters, Jesus said, they will you know that ye are my disciples when you have love for one for another. If you have an heart against one another, go to one another. Amen. Everybody yes. will never understand all of you. Who is you? Who is me? Yes. We only what we are by the grace of God. By the what? The grace of God. Yes. And that's in the Sunday School lesson too. Unmerited favor, Sister Kirby. Unmerited favor. Something we don't deserve. Jesus paid Amen. it all and all to him will. All right. Uh, what did I give you? You finish that. Read the next verse. The 18. 18. Curse. Curse be he that maketh the blind to wander out of the way, and all the people shall say, Amen. And that's not only the natural blind, the spiritual you have the amazing grace. You can sing that I once was lost, but now I'm found. Yes. I was what? Blind. Blind. But now I see. Now I see. see. Do I have to How many see tonight? How many see tonight? Spiritually. You see, God has blessed you. You're dealing with a blind sister now. Praise God. But she has the word of God. I told Pastor about it. But she has the word of God. Don't tell me you're not blind and you're still carnally minded, fleshly minded. Yes. I don't mean being fanatical, but I mean being spiritual minded. We talk about going to heaven, not 7 Eleven. That's it. Yeah. You get it? I hope you got it. Let me hear you say, I got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, back to 1 Thessalonians. We're finishing up there now. Thank you, Pastor, for giving me this time, giving mm -hmm. you this teaching lesson. Yes. Amen. But you need it. We pray that you yes. be quick and awake. Yes, thank you. Quickened. You have it quickened. When you get saved, you're quickened from the deadness of sin. Before you are born again, you are dead in trespasses and sin. Second chapter of Ephesians 1 through 10. Dead. Dead while you're living. And the Bible even speaks about over in 1 Timothy, around the fifth chapter, that a woman can be dead while she's living. Because she's calmly minded. And that's why a lot of marriages uh, break up. Men and the find out that they, after the honeymoon is over, then they, the honey is gone. The honey is gone. You know they got a song now. See, I pick up on a lot of things. The thrill is gone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, oh yeah, come on. I know y'all heard it. Y'all act like you're that old. Amen, because you hear it. They, they, they got the 